Uh, breaking news this morning, a FedEx facility in Indianapolis is a crime scene after a man pulled a rifle overnight and started shooting. At this point, we do not know what prompted the shooting that left eight people dead. Our Brandon Walker live in the newsroom where he's gathering the latest information on the gunman. Uh, Brandon, we understand this person took their own life. Did in fact take his own life, according to investigators Lisa and Noah. Now the total number of those wounded is still being tallied this morning, and that's because a chief investigator with the Indianapolis Police Department says some some who were shot took themselves to the hospital. That investigator says the gunman got out of his car and immediately began shooting. All told, it took him about two minutes. Uh, it wasn't precipitated by any kind of a disturbance or an argument with anyone there that he just immediately started shooting. Uh, so the first shooting occurred in the parking lot and then he went inside. Yeah, that investigator speaking to CNN uh, minutes ago. All of this happening at around 11 o'clock last night in Minneapolis. You're looking at the scene right now, which remains very much so active. That same investigator also telling CNN that right now they believe that the gunman was carrying one rifle. However, there are reports of at least two investigators still working to get to the bottom of that. Uh, the gunman has not been identified, again, taking his own life, and investigators have not said anything about his possible affiliation with that FedEx facility. They don't know yet for sure, we are told. While we know eight people were killed, others wounded, they have not been identified. One employee described seeing that gunman in the parking lot. And he was firing at, uh, in the open. And I immediately ducked down and got scared. And my friend's uh, mother, he came, uh, she came in and told us to get inside the car. And many of those employees rushed to a nearby hotel. You see them here where they were reunited with family and friends. Those employees also sharing harrowing accounts of hearing gunshots, being told to duck, but not being able to do anything else really. And there's a reason for that. And it's sparking a lot of controversy this morning. And that's because they could not phone for help. It is policy by FedEx for them to keep their phones in a locker and not on, a, on the floor. There are calls this morning for FedEx to change that policy. Meantime, we are hearing from the White House. President Biden has been briefed and is in contact with officials on the ground in Indianapolis. Lisa. Brandon Walker following that breaking news out of Indianapolis this morning. Thank you.